I guess you're about, now you're about halfway through camp, I guess, uh, based on the calendar. So, how, so sort of assess where the defense is right now, about two weeks, uh, two weeks before that first game. I think we're close. You know, I think we've gotten better. We had a probably a better practice yesterday than we did this morning. Uh, but I, that's go a little bit to the offense too. Uh, I think they picked it up, and uh, we didn't totally respond like I would like us to. But you know, we didn't do bad. We're getting better. When do you guys start doing the installation for Texas A&M defense? Work? We'll start 10 days out, so I think Monday will be the day that we'll start uh, practice for Texas A&M. You know which quarterback to expect? No, I think both of them. I've been reading articles. You know, we're healed, been doing well. So I think both are athlete, ath uh, athletic quarterbacks. So you know, we got to prepare for both. Is it tough to game plan for a situation where maybe you don't know really the quarterback strengths on the other team going into this one? Well, I, it's not tough to prepare. I think you know we just have to be uh, cautious of who in the game and what he's uh, capable of doing. But you know, we got to do what we do best on defense. So I think that's the key. We got to make sure we're taking care of our assignment, and I'll try to make sure we put him in the right position or make the right proper call to put him in position. To, uh, execute their assignment. Would you like to have at least one opportunity to defense against Manziel? No, no, no. I have to watch video. Probably not. <laughs> for the, for the, for the Allen kid, you have to go back and watch high school video of him. You get access to high school video of Kyle Allen? Well, you know, you, and we've looked at some high school video, and he's an athletic quarterback. That's what they recruit there. And, uh, you know, but, I, you know, again, when you, you lose a quarterback, of the nature of Johnny Manziel, it's, it's hard to replace him. And you know, I'm sure those guys are good football players and they'll do run the system very well. But you know, it's it's hard to replace a guy like that, just like it's hard to replace a Jadavion Clowney or a, yeah. a Connor Shaw because of what they bring athletically to your program. So uh, I'm sure they're both going to be really prepared and ready to play, and, and hopefully we will be too. Yeah, English and Cooper, okay. Yeah, they both practice today, and uh, it's good to have them back out here. And uh, yeah, we like I said, we were protecting theirs and. Cooper had a little flare up in his knee, but they're both for fun. Nixon, Nixon, and Johnson. Everybody talks about Manziel, but Mike Evans was the first round draft pick as well, too. Yeah. So, so, but I, I, what I've been reading, they got pretty good depth at the wide receiver position. Well, what, I think they got a good film. I think they got a great team. Yeah. Uh, you know, they they got really good football players. They've been recruiting well, and you know, Texas got a lot of good football players. And you know, regardless who they got coming back, they'll be ready to play, and they'll have a lot of good football players. They've had a lot of depth to play to receive last season. So, you know, we expect them to replace Mike Evans just like they don't do Johnny. Sky Moore had a couple of picks yesterday. Sky's a, a very athletic linebacker, and uh, he's getting better. Again, he's just got to keep coming, and uh, you know, he plays fast, and he got great ball skills. Based on all the previews, based on all the previews I've seen, um, it's you guys and a m one A and one B for the best offensive line in the SEC. So, I mean, what have you seen on film from? Obviously, they, they lost they lost the guy who went in the first round, but. Uh, that's a lot of guys, other guys coming back. Yeah, they got four really good linemen that are coming back. I know they're moving one of their guards to tackle, and they're very high on them. You know, for the last two years, they've had two first round draft picks as old linemen. So, obviously, the offensive line coach does a great job, and they do a great job in recruiting athletes and uh, uh, linemen that they put up front. And so, you know, they do have four really good linemen back, and I'm sure that the fifth guy will be just as good. Are you using Saturday scrimmage to solidify that secondary depth chart? Are you going to wait all the way up to closer to game day? Well, we'll definitely wait to, to game day, but you know, I think guys will position themselves. We'll know who we need to practice uh, after Saturday scrimmage and who needs to be getting the reps. Because, uh, you know, like I said, uh, possibly Sunday, but I know as month for us, uh, coaches said we'll do it on Monday. We'll start preparing for Texas Indian. Is Harris still running with the first? Yeah, Al is still running with first. Errol and Bryson and uh, uh, Chaz Elder and Chris Moody has been out with first team. What are you looking for from the Saturday scrimmage overall? From, you know, in terms of obviously you guys stopped the run pretty well in the, in the scrimmage last weekend, but you obviously struggled with the pass. And Coach Murray mentioned a lot of defensive backs were clutching and grabbing receivers. So what's, 